Feeling down and demotivated because of all the negative headlines around you? Well, we're here to fix that. This is your weekly dose of positive, wholesome, not-for-profit, non-negative, legitimate headlines. Well, you get the point. So, who doesn't like an off from work day, right? Well, Maharashtra government employees will be rejoicing at the fact that the work days will be reduced from 6 to 5. The decision will commence on February 29th and usually studies show that worker productivity increases with a 5-day week. I'm sure that it will also increase the efficiency of government employees. Seeing this, I feel like everybody should work towards a 5-day week. I mean, who likes to come and shoot on a Saturday? Everybody knows about the Chernobyl disaster and the damage that it has caused. But out of all the chaos, there's an interesting story developing right now. A microorganism in the form of black fungi was seen to be growing on the walls of a nuclear reactor. Baffled with how it managed to survive in these extreme conditions, scientists did a bit of a research and found out unimaginable results. The fungi was able to sap up deadly rays and produce energy via it. Scientists believe that by extracting its radiation-absorbing power and manufacturing it as a drug, it could be used as a sunblock against toxic rays, powerful electric appliances and develop biotechnology. When it comes to climate change, usually we don't have positive news, do we? However, research conducted by the International Energy Agency gave us a refreshing piece of information. According to them, global carbon dioxide emissions did not continue to increase in 2019. In fact, it flatlined and remained unchanged at 33 gigatons. Factors like higher use of nuclear power generation and renewable services were mainly the reason for this. For all of those who love wine, this is a piece of information that you're going to be drooling over. Crushing of wine grapes is about to begin in Maharashtra. Winemakers believe that the night temperature dipping to 6 degrees is perfect to make good wine, especially in areas near Nasik, which is basically the wine capital of India. The delaying of winter has resulted in a favourable climate for the grape berries to set properly. You know what this means, right? With Maharashtra being the leading producer of wines and producing 60% of its country's wines, the 2020 vintage may turn out to be India's best wines in the recent years. Ever since it's opened, the Statue of Unity in Gujarat has been in the news. Positively or negatively, we don't know. However, the Ekta Pani initiative launched recently is making noise for all the right reasons. This environmental-friendly initiative aims to ensure that this tourist destination is 100% plastic bottle-free. The Forest Department will introduce returnable glass water bottles that will have Narmada water infused with Tulsi, mint and ginger. This move is expected to reduce single-use plastic waste generation in the monument by 10.38 tonnes per month. Well, that's it for this week, folks. If you know of any positive headlines that you think we've missed out on, please put them in the comment section below. Also, watch out for a new episode of Good News with Binge Daily every Monday. Ashna out. Thanks for watching Binge Daily. Be sure to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos.